Uh, we just saw an inspiring video by Danny Tinez. He's a filmmaker and graphic designer, animator. Um, so you were picked as one of the, the winner of the Carbon Price Award for the film for Climate Video, uh -huh. given by the Carbon Price and Leadership Coalition. Yes. So what inspired you to do this? Well, um, we actually wanted to make the regular people to say that way uh, aware of what the concept of carbon pricing is. Because uh, all the people that is in this world, the climate change and all that, they really they are really familiar with the concept of carbon pricing, but mostly all the people in the street doesn't know what it is. So when we wanted to create a PSA that was inspiring and uh, eye-catching. So they were start to thinking, uh, what is carbon pricing? And, and start to look for that information and get aware of what actually is. And to do that, we counted with the, um, with the help of uh, the guys from Real World Visuals. Mm -hmm. They lend us those images, those animation, mm -hmm. where we can see uh, those massive bubbles that represent a ton of carbon dioxide gas mm -hmm. and how much um, carbon we are emitting to the atmosphere every day on those massive piles wow. in the center of Manhattan. So counting with that help, we we made sure that um, the people really understood what is carbon emissions and how uh, carbon pricing can be used to address the problem with climate change. I mean, it's a very important issue. And so do you think that a lot of people probably don't know what, the, what it is and, and um, you wanted to increase kind of awareness globally, especially in the younger generation yeah. uh, on the issue? So do you think that there's still people who need to know more and more about what carbon pricing is and how it works? Yeah, well, to be honest, yeah. uh, myself and my partner Jay, we, we did the video together and we both didn't know that much about carbon pricing before yeah. doing this PSA and while doing it we learned a lot about what actually can, help, can do to, to address climate change. So you also traveled to COP22 last year mm -hmm. and that experience itself must have been amazing. I mean, you were there, you're in, in action, you're seeing all these global leaders. How did it feel? Well, it feels... Um, really overwhelming. It's like I never saw myself going to a COP, to be honest. And when we, when they, like the guys from the Connect for Climate told us that we won the award for, for our PSA, uh, the special prize for the CPLC, and we, we actually were traveling to Morocco to attend the COP22, it was, it was pretty amazing. And being there, we got really inspired for what, what is going on. There's a lot Did of people. Did you see anybody that you had a great uh, conversation with that. Yeah, well, we met Tom Kerr, for instance. He, we had a really inspiring conversation there, conversation there, then the whole team for the Gannett for Climate as well. Mm -hmm. It's it what's pretty, pretty inspiring, to be honest. Right. So, yeah. so what are you up to now? Are you working on any other videos or? Well, now I'm more focused on graphic design. I'm actually working on the rebrand of uh, a charity that helps children that doesn't have access to to education, uh, which is pretty pretty cool then actually, and as well uh, doing the, uh, the brand for um, a crowdfunding platform that is actually helping to address climate change as well. Wow, that's great. So, so for those tuning in online, what is your message to the younger generation who don't know what carbon pricing is, who maybe don't think climate change is, is affecting them yet? So what is your message to the people tuning in today? Well, um, uh, my message would be that um, get involved, uh, start questioning yourself, what can you do to help address climate change? Um, if you're a creative and you, you think that by the stuff you do you can get message, message across, across to the public, just do it and help us fight in the problem. Great. Thank you.